Hi guys. So a lot of people were telling that in the second video of this love bubber series, there is a question called minimize the maximum difference between heights and they are not understanding the solution. Actually, when I also solved the problem, I was in a dilemma, but then I told whatever was in my mind. But today I would like to say that is actually turning out to be wrong because First of all, let us read the problem once again. This is actually a very controversial problem. And as you can see, I have opened so many resources, but none of them have helped me get the correct answer. Let me try to tell you why there won't be a correct answer in this, this thing, you know, GFG, this GFG article itself is wrong. The question is not wrong, but the article itself is wrong. So whatever solution you put, according to their test cases, if it passes, it will be correct. But actually, it's not that. So what is the question saying? Basically, there are n towers. And so there are n towers, okay. And we have to, you know, this is important, we have to increase or decrease every towers height by k. We don't have an option. See, it says you have to modify the height by either increasing or by decreasing. And one more thing it says, height should not be a negative integer. Height should not become a negative integer. So according to this statement, height should not become a negative integer. My earlier solution is completely wrong, right? Because, I mean, completely wrong in the sense, it is giving a bad direction because here I'm saying A of I minus K. How do I know that, how do I know that K is less than my current element? K can be greater also, right? If K is greater than this element A of I, then it will become negative. So actually this solution is wrong and people have told over here also that this article should be fixed. And the other article that they fixed also is wrong. They are giving a wrong solution in both the articles. So as you can see here, see somebody has said, this is a wrong solution, don't read it. So I tried many other things. I went to code forces also. In code forces also, somebody has told, somebody has asked the same question on code forces. Let me just explain this. So even on code forces, they have told two kinds of solutions which have got a lot of upvote. Okay, so there is one solution which says this, decrease all tower heights by B. But my question is, if you decrease all the tower heights, what if a tower becomes negative? You are not allowed, right? In the question, in this question, what does it say? In this question, it says you cannot make a tower non-negative, I mean, you cannot make a height negative integer. It cannot become a negative integer. But here, according to this grandmaster, this solution that he's trying to say, he wants to decrease all the heights. And this other person also is not taking into account that if you decrease the height, it might become negative. And that's what one person is saying over here. There is a chance that they are making the height negative, which is not ideal. So what is the ideal solution? I really don't know for this problem. I had misread this problem when I was solving it. I'm really sorry for that. Please try to do this problem by yourself. Maybe you will be the first one to get the correct answer. If you already know the correct answer, then please let us all know in the comment section because I myself am very clueless. As you can see, I've opened so many codes, so many distinct resources, even on Stack Overflow I've opened. Stack Overflow also somebody has told something which has got a down vote. And this person had actually told something, you know. On Stack Overflow, there is uh, this thing, article. I will share this article in Stack Overflow, but I am not uh, completely understood what this article is trying to say. Because over here also the article is trying to, you know, decrease the height by K. When you decrease the height, how are you so sure? See, when you're decreasing the height, how are you sure it not becoming a negative integer? That means what, for example, if the height of the tower is four, okay. 
and your k value is some six. How can you decrease the tower by six? Four minus six is what? Less than zero, na? So this is wrong. The question is saying it should not become less than zero. It should always be greater than or equal to zero. So I don't know how my solution got passed. Maybe all the test cases that they had prepared only they had written the same code and it all passed. So I am unaware of the solution. I tried my real best. So please don't be angry. I am also one of you only, but I did not get the answer. Maybe one of you will get it. Then please share it in the comments. All of us will learn. It's a very interesting problem. It's a quite tough problem also. So please continue to support me. Maybe in the future, if I really get the answer, I'll again make a video. But I am sorry, I still don't have the solution for this. So now I have told you the reason why this article is wrong. So please uh, don't put your mind into this. But the question might be correct. Who knows? So get the answer and uh, tell all of us. I'll put on Code Chef also. I'll put a question on Code Chef. If somebody answers me there, it will be good. I'll share that with you. Otherwise, as you can see, I have I have tried so many answers, but nothing is working. So that's all for this. And uh, please share the channel with all your friends and uh, subscribe. It will motivate me. Thank you very much. Bye.